Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Rad Kotarok and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Sagittarius uh, or Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius and uh, their week December 21st to December 27th a 2020 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards guys once again to remind you that there is a flash sale on the tarot classes which I'm offering and it is exclusive for the Facebook followers so if you are not Facebook, if you aren't a Facebook follower, you can find my Facebook page uh, into the description down below, the link to it, because in the, uh, the content for the Facebook page and for YouTube, they are exclusive from one another. In the Facebook page, you're gonna, you're gonna see me going live for the different transits. There are daily tarot reading, there are readings, there are astrology posts as well. And, uh, uh, once you become a Facebook follower, you can pretty much uh, give me a message to the uh, Facebook page messages uh, requesting for the flash sale of the Tarot classes and I'm going to provide you in a link, with a link that you can purchase them. Uh, the Minor Arcana Tarot classes, which are a 12 uh, lectures, are at 50% off the price and the Major Arcana Tarot classes, which are a 6 lectures, are with a 35% of the price. So with that being said, let's move uh, straight away to the uh, reading of Sagittarius and uh, the first card here which represents the topic of your week is going to be the Moon card followed by the energies and that's perfect. You couldn't have it better than that. Um, the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic that is going to be the Two of Swords. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you have to overcome here. I mean, these cards, they, they do, they do talk, they, they just not, they don't just talk, but they are actually screaming into your faces. And uh, the, uh, the challenges that you are to overcome, that is the Wheel of Fortune. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. That is going to be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Follow, followed by the impression that uh, you are going to leave into the people around. What is that people are going to see when they look at you? That is going to be the full card. Followed by the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down. And we do have the reason here. I do expect it to be somewhere at the either um, the obstacle, the challenges or the obstacles. And the reason why you are going to be in such a state, King of Pentacles. Followed by the positive aspects of the week, which are going to help you push forward. That is going to be the uh, Seven of Pentacles. And the last one, which we do have, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Eight of a Pentacles. Wow. My fellow archers, Saji. Um, that reading refers to me as well a lot because I do have double stellium uh, into Sagittarius. Do have a um, four planets there actually? I do believe three at least. Okay, uh, so it refers to me a lot. And uh, what we do have uh, here for Saji, uh, the first two cards are pretty much self-explanatory at least to me. And uh, it does point that we are going. We I'm saying we because I also relate to Sagittarius. My moon is into Sagittarius, and uh, you guys are going to take huge cautious when you are progressing through the week because um how can i say it because you are going to come to realization there that rushing up your decision decisions whatever that decisions relates to uh it's it's pretty much not going to produce good results in the sense of that is way too big of a risk uh, many of you guys are going to be simply beguiled into a wrong decision to be made and for that reason you are going to sense that thanks to the energies and you are going to position yourself in such a way that you are going to maintain a precious equilibrium amongst the options available forward. And through the process of elimination, uh, the only right decision is going to pretty much become obvious to you so all that you gotta do in this week it is just observe wait and scale the information now that itself provokes the topic which is the topic of the moon card and uh, it's a pretty difficult to describe it here because it kind of like overlaps with the two of uh, swords 
but the whole waiting process is gonna make you a bit nervous, okay? And you may feel like you are losing a grip over the situation from one drop off of an option available to another and when that another drop off happens, uh, you are to see that that wasn't for you and your, uh, not determination, but self-esteem, courage and the confidence comes back again and then kind of like abates once more until another option available drops off and until the last option available, which is the real option available in front of you, um, takes place and you just take it and uh, then everything gets resolved. It's just as simple as that. So uh, something, I hope it's a guardian angel or whatever, is going to stop you make a wrong decisions throughout the week. It's just whenever you want to decide in favor of something that it is a bit premature, are uh, kind of like aspects of information that you are either skeptical about or that are simply straight on missing are going to stop you making that decision and actually charging towards your own destruction. So moving next, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome and that is the Wheel of Fortune, pretty self-explanatory uh, and that is not to rush the things through just like the first two cards are saying here, the Wheel of Fortune, as we all know, plays a role of an, an amazing opportunity and that is the challenge not to force that amazing opportunity moving forward, but to recognize which of the many opportunities which are around, it is your opportunity to make a once in a lifetime change. For this time around, as the Wheel of Fortune is a challenging card, it means that if you do make a wrong choice, there are gonna be a severe consequences. Only when the Wheel of Fortune is uh, in a challenging position, is actually overcome, overcame as a challenge, then the consequences are pleasant. Uh, so what I'm trying to say here is that Wheel of Fortune always manifests itself suddenly. It's like a storm, it comes out of nowhere, and you feel like you are entitled to take it, okay? The problem is, like I said, that it's not gonna be just only one thing, but few for some, many. And uh, you cannot take all of them, you are, but you feel entitled to. So you just have to maintain your calmness. You just have to wait until, you know, the only option available become obvious. And today I just shot another video and I had a similar situation. And I just gave that example. Imagine that you do have three suitors that you like equally the three of them. You don't know which one you are gonna go for, you cannot go for the three of them, okay? You cannot commit with the three of them. Well, some people can, but just talking about, you know, the standard code of conduct. Uh, so which one? You, you cannot say, and uh, you don't know which one you are gonna have best potential with because they pretty much seem equally good. So what do you do? You do wait. And uh, as time progresses, one loses interest because you are not budging in, right? And you are not pretty much uh, favoring them. Another one loses interest for the same reason a few days after and only one remains. And that is your obvious choice because they were patient enough to wait for you. That is just a, uh, an example how it could play out. But that's my point here is that you must wait until only one option available is, uh, is in front of you. Same thing if you are about to buy a home, you are kind of like uh, um, trying to decide among a couple of houses and you can't decide which one. And as soon as one of them is bought, you buy the next one or the other one, which is the only option available standing. Uh, moving next, we do have the positive aspects or rather like not the positive aspects, I'm sorry. These are the uh, gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy. And uh, that is the uh, Ace of Pentacles. So that refers to the last option available, which is the right option available for you. Once taken, it will appear to be your opportunity or your rare opportunity to further whatever goal you are chasing. If that's your business, then that option, then that, then that obvious option available is going to make your business very successful. If that's about your love, it's gonna make your uh, love life extremely harmonious. In generally, once you take on that path, you are gonna feel content, uh, sensual joy, exhilaration, glee, some of you guys, ecstasy.
and it, it's going to be beautiful. I mean, I, I can't find words for it. But the whole thing is that we should not rush it. Sometimes the rotten fruits are presented with the most beautiful shells. And we should not judge the content by its cover. That's why we have to wait until once. I cannot stress you that enough. You have to wait until the right option available becomes obvious to you. Pretty much it is the last option available. Moving next, uh, we do have how people are going to look at you, what they're going to see when they kind of like gaze at you. And we do have the full card. So uh, people are not going to understand you. They are going to be pretty baffled, you know, why you're not making up your mind. So people are going to see you very um, immature or rather like un unattached to the seriousness of the situation, if you will. People are going to uh, see you as a, a very... Uh, if you will, selfish and also spontaneous, carefree was the word that I was searching for. It is like you don't give a dime, you know, about your options available and that you are so calm and so peaceful. But what they don't know it is that you are waiting for the right one to become obvious. Not that you don't want to take any measures, but you want to make sure that you take the right measures. That is because with the Two of Swords, there is a, a very big chance, like I said, that you are beguiled, especially next to the moon, that you are beguiled with an, an information that it is not presented correctly, uh, or it's kind of like beguiled to make the wrong decision. That's why you want to wait for as long as you can. Uh, but with the full card, yeah, people are pretty much going to see you. Uh, well, with one word, I, could, I can um, summarize here, uh, immature. But these are those who doesn't understand you. Those that do, however, are going to see in you a person who does not want to risk their future. All right. A person with high hopes and uh, how can I say high goals that doesn't want to risk the very initial steps in terms of chasing those goals. And that's why those that are to support you through anything, they are going to stick to you and they are going to support you. Those that, you know, that are simply around you just for the heck and giggles, they will not. And uh, you should not mourn for such kind of individuals. Moving next, uh, we do have uh, the uh, problem here, which is the King of Pentacles. And that is the obstacles which are going to uh, hold you back and down. King of Pentacles. <laughs> A person that you do rely on, a person who is not going to lift up their pinky finger if there is if there is if there is there isn't anything for them from your endeavor. All right. So you're waiting for for your option available, your option available, not theirs. Okay, and they are not going to be happy of it. You may uh, count on their resources, and that pretty much excludes the resources of that person that you may be placing hopes into and that is going to be the obstacle here so someone that you do rely on is not going to come to an aid when you do make up your mind about whichever path or whichever decision you do find right for you sadly for them things are going to work for you and uh, you know whether they are with you or not and uh, i do believe that they are going to be sorry moving forward into the future seeing how either successful you are in terms of business or you know how happy you are in terms of, of a, a relationship and uh, they probably are going to curse themselves not being the one that you are in a relationship with because they didn't like your conditions which which were your option available uh, so yeah it's uh, with the king of pentacles uh, again i want to stress this thing around whoever does not want to support you there is no point trying to convince them to do otherwise just keep on pushing forward without them you are going to be far better than if they were sticking with you moving next we do have the positive aspects which are going to help you push your things uh, push your things forward that is seven of pentacles and I was initially quite baffled about this card falling into this position, guys. Um, but the Seven of Pentacles plays a role of very unexpected event 
that comes just at the right time, or at the right moment, which is lurking right now behind the corner, that really gives you the idea what you should choose or do in favor of. And uh, by doing so, life normalizes, and this is what I mean. You invest from yourself, and just as much as you invest, just as much as you gain from it, whatever it is, love, career, friendship, so on, so forth. So uh, what is going to help you push your things forward is going for uh, activities, enterprises, people, friendships, relationships, jobs that doesn't make you feel deprived, okay? It doesn't make you feel like you are trying too much and you are just trying it for the hope that things are going to work out. Here, you try, it happens. If it doesn't happen, you move to the next one, which is, again, the process of elimination. But you don't have to, how can I say, you don't have to toil for it. But instead of trying, just wait for the Seven of Pentacles. It's, um, it's the necessary time to rest and wage your options and wage how much you are to invest into something to, toward how much you are going to gain from it as well. Because this card could be looking to two ways. Either this person is worrying or is trying to figure out how to fit the pentacle on the, on the bush. In other words, how to gain more from the situation. Or the person is worried because the pentacle fell from the bush and the person is worrying why. Not in your case though, because we do have, that is the positive aspect here. So you are trying to add to your world, to your world, what? A pentacle, a thing of stability, a thing of worth. And the last one, which is the guidance the tarot is uh, advising you here or is giving you, we do have the uh, eight of pentacles. So with the Eight of Pentacles, the guidance is pretty simple here. Your plans should remain. Whatever you want to accomplish, it's, defi it's definitely achievable. That's one thing. The other thing about the Eight of Pentacles it is that you should prepare yourself for ups and downs. It's just, it's foolish to think that, you know, life is red carpets and roses and nothing wrong is going and nothing wrong is about to happen, right? Things are going to have its ups and downs and you're going to go through it just like a blacksmith is forging a blade through fire and water. But at the end, what matters is the final product, a quenched, hardened steel. That is, uh, that is how you're going to make your endeavor or your goal. And above everything else as a guidance, don't rush things through. One more time, I just cannot stress you that enough because with the Eight of Pentacles, there are many details that you need to have a keen eye into, keen eye into and uh, whatever you decide to do, if it is not done with the conscientiousness, there is no point doing it at all. So that being said, um, Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius uh, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading December 21st to uh, December 27, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.